Okay. Okay, so yes. shall we start? Uh, I don't know if my dad's probably gonna keep on talking. <laughs> All right. Well, it doesn't matter as long as your boys and mine are like the the obvious voices in in the thing. It doesn't really matter. So we here we go. Welcome Wait, to. Oh, oh. Yo, what? Hold on. Hold All on right. a sec. Can you hear him right now? As he's just like no, talking I don't, very no, loud. No, I don't. I don't hear anything. Okay, then we're good to go. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, no, don't mind. Don't. I, I, I'm actually surprised that you can't hear anything from my side because there's a lot of crazies here. <laughs> All right. right. So welcome to training session. I don't know what number because we have like six. <laughs> or yeah, we lost count. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Either our math skills are pretty bad, or we're just. I don't know. <laughs> Insert compliment here, but yeah. So before <laughs> we, before we continue, let's just practice some stuff that we have already done. So how about you do an instant drop here where I am? Look at what what I'm going to do. Uh, Wait, uh, I'm gonna yeah, get over here. Get get over here where I am. Is that you right there? Yeah. Yes, is. I want you to do this. Ah no, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. Like that. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> Lol. You even know what I'm going to tell you. So yeah, pretty much it's like this. That's what I want you to do. Ah. Yeah, you want to grab at the top. Although, if you grab where you did, it's still good because of something that I'm just about to teach you. But you want to you wanna do it like as soon as you can. You want to grab the ledge. So let's... Yeah! This is a great training spot. Uh, for people who are watching this video, I do recommend that if you want to get great at at, uh, oh, it. <laughs> at instant uh, grabbing the ledge, this is the perfect place to do it, because you have to use like all the elements in order to do it. You have to run, uh, press the X. You sure did it. <laughs> yeah, the funny. It thing works really well, guys. Uh, take my word for it, because. Oh yeah. wow, it didn't work there, but. This is surprisingly useful in actual gameplay. And well, yeah. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why. Even if you grab below where, where you were grabbing, grabbing at the beginning, that you were doing something like that. Oh, I, I I didn't do it. I'm so used to doing it early that. Yeah. There we go. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I <laughs> I always do it early. Let, let me see. Uh, there it is. Yeah, I learned something even from my own apprentice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I want. One day I'll become a teacher. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's always, you know, it, that's always good because, well, actually, no, nobody really taught me. I pretty much, like, learned on my own by watching videos and that. I, although I do yeah. thank some people like A.V. Santos and Evil Assassin and let me see who else. I know. Well, I guess like the mayor factor for for me learning how to do that is Evil Assassin X, because he's the guy that I watch do like the most of the times. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there's uh, there's another thing I want to tell you, and is that for grab kills, and this is like the final lesson in our 101 <laughs> uh, for abilities and free running and whatnot uh, training, is that yeah. you don't need to be at the exact ledge in order to perform a grab kill. You can be like slightly below the ledge, and you can still get the grab kill. So, for example, look at look at me. Drop drop here with me. You see, right now uh, we're on the exact ledge, but the problem with yeah. being with being on the exact ledge is that your hands. Well, in the case of Clint Beastwood, <laughs> my character right now, since he has like black gloves, his hands are not really all that obvious on the ledge. Yeah. But for most characters, they they are like really visible. At least for experienced players, they're they're gonna see your hands. They're they're gonna see that you're there on the ledge, so they're not gonna approach the ledge. And you don't want mm -hmm. that. You want to be as stealthy as possible. So what you want to do is something wh like what you did before. You want to drop a little bit below the ledge, and you can still get the grab kill from there. And I am, okay. and, yeah. And you're completely invisible because your hands are not grabbing the ledge. In the case of characters with with bayonets, like my character, you might see the bayonet over the ledge. <laughs> so yeah, people, that's one disadvantage of using characters with bayonets. But for, yeah. for for characters such as yours, is is completely impossible to see them. So drop here on the ledge, and I am going to show the people from my point of view that I cannot see you, like at all. And from the distance I am right now, I have no clue where you are. 
Now, I want you to, to go to the top of the ledge so I can show people that I can see your hands. Yeah, so I... Right now, yeah, I can see those hands. And in fact, I, I can even see you <laughs> to some point. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, it's... You really want to keep that in mind when doing grab kills. Like, if you're not at the top of the ledge, if you're, like, climbing from the bottom... For example, if I was here... Uh, look at me. Are you looking at me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm here. So if I was here and you were up there, I would do this. Ah, blah, not like that. Yeah, instead of running really fast to the top of the ledge, I will actually just run a bit, stop, climb one more block, and stay here. Like here, I would move, perform any movement I needed in order to do the grab kill. And then I would lock on my target and per perform the grab kill if they came close to the ledge, of course. Because sometimes they, they don't. So let's just uh, show it to everybody now. Just uh, to make people go to your channel, we're actually only going to do this from your point of view. <laughs> so just, okay. yeah, right. just drop below, you know, drop below one block. So I don't see your hands. You have locked on me and I want you to grab kill me now. Okay, so I'm gonna run at full speed so people can see that even if they're running, they can still per perform the grab kill. Here I go. First blood. First blood bonus and the grab kill, which is an awesome 450 points. And 750. So seven, yeah, 750 in total. And you were stealthy as hell. <laughs> Why? Thank you. <laughs> because nobody can see you. Okay, so let me show you something else before uh, we end this training session. Uh, you cannot do it always, like, not on every ledge you can do that, because for example here, here, you cannot do it. Yeah. You, you cannot drop, you cannot drop at any level below that. If you drop from there, you will have to go all the way to the, to the floor. Which pushes your point that the sharpshooter and the Clint Beastwood persona is just the way to go. Oh, no, 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 I said that uh, for, for that specific thing, he's not necessarily as good because he has a bayonet. Although I, I could change, oh, yeah. I could change his weapon. So His bayonet doesn't show that much, but I, I, can, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, it doesn't show that much, but, like, if you have <laughs> got, like, uh, I, like, if you have uh, Templar vision <laughs> in your eyes and you, you, you can actually tell apart the bayonet, it's actually visible. I mean, you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, like just following the pioneer. I don't know if you guys are watching from my perspective or uh, Nova's perspective, yeah. but you can tell that the pioneer, the bay bayonet, is like a good half a foot in Abstergo vision. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite a bit above the, her head, so it can yeah. be visible sometimes. But most of the time, people don't even realize it. Okay, so here's yeah. the one, the last thing I want to show you. On any place that has railings, any kind of staircase, what I said before is still valid. And this time we're gonna do it from my point of view. I'll go, okay, so I'm gonna hang here. You remember what we did before that... Uh, okay, stand here to make it even more awesome. Stand here where All I right. am. So you remember what we were doing before? What you actually teach me instead of me teaching you? That <laughs> yeah. we, we could do this. If I do this... So you see? Did you, oh, you did get the acrobatic. Minute, yeah, no, I got uh, grab kill. It was an acrobatic, and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna let you do it, but we're gonna do it in a different place on, on this stage. Go to the deathmatch area. Uh, just follow the compass. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, time. Ta time's about to run out, so we wanna do it as fast as possible. Yeah. Okay, so on the deathmatch area, there is plenty of places where you can do it, namely here. Where I am right now, this is one place where you can do it. Remaining. You can also do it here. You can also do it here. Uh, well, I can. I kind of have to grab the ledge here. Here, you see where I am right now. You, you can do it here. I want you to drop here and grab kill me because the time is about to run out. Grab, grab right. the ledge at the place where I was. No, no, not from there. From from where I was. Grab me! Grab me! There we go! With two seconds to spare. <laughs> yeah! Second. So you saw it. You don't need to climb all the way to the top in order to perform a grab kill from places that, that have railings. 
So like if they have a railing like that, you can be really stealthy. Just climb as much as you need, which is just like you did, and perform the grab kill. And in fact, if you do it that way, you can you can even get an ambush bonus because you're not even in the line of sight of, of your target. Some mighty fine points to bring up there. Yeah, yeah, and in fact, I even have some death matches that I, I do that and while, hang, while hanging like that from the ledge, I focus my target. So I get a focus, grab, kill, ambush, and that's just insane. But it's yeah. it's definitely doable and, and it, this works even against experienced players. So what I'm telling you is not like, oh, only the biggest noob in the planet is going to fall for it. No, even <laughs> I think even I can fall for it. But because of I because I know that I tend to avoid places with railings. I don't like hiding in place uh, near places that have railings, because that's that's like an easy an easy grab kill for everybody else. If they know about it, of course. <laughs> yeah.